everybody loves Tesla. No, that looks like a great short. So this, boom, 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 312, no go. And it's turning around. And it looks like it could come down to 280, 281. Uh, no, 291 first, then 281. Excuse me. I'm always, always going to look at a week for the, you know, the first big picture and then the daily. So we are definitely below the eight and the three day. The high of 301 is your is your guide. Stay below 301. That's a nice, tight, short, right? 301.29 if you want to be in that area. Vateva. I hate doing this, but I'm going to do it real quick. 340, also resistance. All right, so looks pretty good. The 291 and then a break of 291. By the way, there's a gap right here. Brings 281. 281 is here, the weekly. Much higher probability. But we've got to stay below a close of this 301. Does that help? So here's your high. If you want a little bit more room, I would definitely recommend a 305 area. So if it gets above 305, that might be too tight. Very nice. Um, I'm going to change this 287 because I know it's a good one, but this is better. You need to get this gap filled. Ugh. 289.50. Yep, that's your first price target. And then your second price target is 282 on an intraday. Morning star reversal potential, potential, not reality, but potential. Do you see this low of 265.74? Let's just call it 266. Potential is by Friday, this could dump to 266. High, high, high probability is that it would come down 291 and 281. 265 would be way a surprise. That's the crowded trade I'm talking about.